This is the part that frosts me. Well, you know where I stand. In. This is what frosts me. Makes me mad, and I have absolutely no comprehension or understanding of this. This transit system has been described as hugely successful, exceeding expectations. To me, that means we're getting a lot of revenue from it. Okay, that it's very successful. We know it's not in Bristol, but it is in New Britain. But now I'm thinking, okay, I'm wrong. They're making money, big revenue. Wrong. What happened is, in their first year, this remember, no accountability. Remember that, because that's what happens all the time. First year estimate for operating deficiency. And by the way, we all know mass transit historically and always will get subsidized by government. We understand that. We accept that as part of the mass transit system. First year, $10 million deficit. That's what the estimate is. Reality, $17 million. That's a 70% increase in one year. The private sector, you'd be fired. You do not, and you know why? You got that $17 million. Anybody here vote on that? Did you vote on that? They just said, we got a $7 million deficit. They'll come back to the legislature later on and say, oh, well, you know, we got a $7 million goal. And not only did we not vote on it, the one that gets me the most were Bristol, Connecticut. The damn thing operates for 21 hours a day. New York City couldn't support that. You're telling me that there is not an operating inefficiency in this system? We have a five. We have a 500 million dollar deficit this year, and I'm supposed to just sit there and say nothing about improving the bus system that operates 21 million, uh, 21 hours a day, seven million dollars. That's bunk. Nobody is on. Nobody is on. No, no one's being held accountable for it. 